हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू योग बेला आई एम प्रीति एक क्वेश्चन जो मुझसे बहुत बार पूछा जाता है कि मेंस्ट्रुअल क्रैम्स को रिलीज करने के लिए भी क्या कोई पॉस्चर्स हैं क्या कोई आसनास हैं आज के वीडियो में मैंने कवर करे हैं वही आसनास का फ्लो जो आपको मेंस्ट्रुअल क्रैम्स के दौरान हेल्प करेगा अलॉन्ग विथ दैट वो फाइव मोस्ट इफेक्टिव टिप्स शेयर करी है मैंने जो आपका इंस्टेंटली पेन रिलीज करने में हेल्प करेंगी तो मेक श्योर आप वीडियो लास्ट तक देखो आज के वीडियो में जो भी आसनास एंड टिप्स मैंने आपके साथ शेयर करे हैं ये मेरे पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस से आते हैं तो अगर आपको किसी भी आसना में अच्छा लग रहा है कंफर्टेबल लग रहा है आप वीडियो को पॉज करके उसे ज़्यादा देर तक होल्ड कर सकते हो और अगर आपको कोई पॉस्चर अनकंफर्टेबल लग रहा है तो आप उसे ड्रॉप करके आगे बढ़ सकते हो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड स्टार्ट करते हैं आज की प्रैक्टिस चाइल्ड पोज से जिसको हम शशांक आसन भी बोलते हैं नीज टुगेदर फोर आर्म्स डाउन सी इफ यू कैन कीप योर बटक्स एंड योर हील्स इन टच कंफर्टेबल हो तो वॉक योर फार्म्स फॉरवर्ड ड्रॉप योर फोर हेड डाउन एंड बाई चांस इफ यू आर लूजिंग द टच बिटवीन योर बटक्स एंड योर हील्स मेक फिस्ट प्लेस वन फिस्ट ओवर दी अदर प्लेस योर फोर हेड ऑन दैट connect with your breath any variation of your choice just feel your breath see if you can consciously deepen your breath slowly look up walk your hands back and now sit in malasana you can place your fingertips down bend your right knee then your left right left coming on your right toes left right left center now we'll be holding malasana with your elbows push your knees out feet wider than your hips find good length in your spine breathe there then breaths we'll be holding this pose 1 2 3 Four. Deep breaths. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Your palms down. Send your legs back to downward facing dog. First downward facing dog. Pedal your legs. Bend your right. Straighten your left. Bend your left. Straighten your la- right. Change. 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 And hold. Right knee is bent. Left leg is straight. Feel the stretch in the back of your left leg. Make sure your fingers wide open. Shoulders externally rotated. focus is at the back of your left leg 1 2 3 4 very good now look forward step your right foot forward in between your palms and directly drop your left knee down release your left toes hands at your waist 
by chance you need cushion for your left knee go ahead either you can roll your mat like this under your left knee or directly use cushion for your left knee walk your right foot slightly forward sink down feel the stretch here in your left thigh interlock your fingers sink down breathe there one deep breaths two three four five six seven eight nine and ten your palms down tuck your left toes left knee off send your right leg back now bend your left knee come on your left toes straighten your right and down dog feel the stretch in the back of your right and breathe there one two three four and five look forward step your left foot forward in between your palms drop your right knee down release your right toes hands at your waist walk your left foot forward sink down sink down feel the stretch in your right thigh to lock your fingers place it on your left thigh breathe there one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten your palms down tuck your right toes right knee off set your left leg back downward facing dog now step your right foot forward in between your palms again dropping your left knee down release your left toes walk your right foot close to the left edge of the mat right shin down right thigh down send your left leg bit more back and your forearms down this is one stretch which works amazingly for me you can stay here or if you feel good you can walk your palms forward drop your forehead down breathe there one two feel your right glutes four five six seven eight nine and ten inhale look up walk your palms back tuck your left toes left knee off sending your right leg back to downward facing dog now step your left foot forward in between your palms dropping your right knee down walk your left foot close to the right edge of the mat your shin down thigh down forearms down stay here if you want some extra stretch for that you can walk your palms forward feel your left glutes here your left hip muscles 
also feel your left thigh three four five six seven eight nine and ten inhale look up walk your hands back tuck your right toes right knee off send your left leg back downward facing dog downward facing dog from here drop your knees down sit back connect with your breath now the next posture is chanu shirshasana for that swing your legs forward bend your right knee drop your right knee to the right side take your right heel higher now left toes flexed towards you grab your left foot or your shin your ankle wherever you can reach or if you cannot reach your left foot use a strap or a dupatta inhale lengthen your spine so basically you have to feel stretch in the back of your left leg exhale bend forward how much ever you can and breathe there we'll be holding for 10 deep breaths One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. and then inhale exhale please change straighten your right bend your left left knee bent right toes flexed towards you directly grab your right foot or use the strap whatever suits you inhale lengthen exhale look at your toes feel the stretch in the back of your right leg 9 and 10 inhale look up exhale out completely and release releasing your left leg next posture is suptavirasana you can bend your right if you are very comfortable you can bend both the legs but if you are not good with this variation you can go with one leg at a time so in that case straighten one leg bend the other leg and now if with this posture itself you are feeling good amount of stretch in your left thigh and you are finding it really challenging to go back it's completely fine stay seated here stay here and feel the stretch in your left quads but if you are good your forearms down make sure you are keeping your right toes also flexed don't let go of your right foot
now those of you are very flexible you can go with both the legs bent so for that both the knees bent we'll be holding this posture for 10 breaths if you are doing with one leg at a time five each side you can extend your arms up grab your opposite elbows keep it under your head and breathe one two three four five if you are doing with one leg change six seven eight nine and ten for releasing grab your feet use your elbows turn one side onto your palms and then come up come up swing your legs forward now for the next pose spread your legs wide so keep bolster with you or if you do not have bolster keep two pillows with you spreading your legs wide it's absolutely fine to keep knees bent initially by chance you are falling back in that case keep your knees bent so that you can easily access your sitting bones and it will keep you uplifted you have good uplift in your spine while seated like this and you are comfortable straightening your legs go ahead spread it wide how much ever you can completely depending on your flexibility take the bolster in right palm over the left palm place your head there and breathe if you don't have a bolster not even pillows in that case just stay here with your knees bent or straight whatever suits you now turning your head to the other side bringing the soles of the feet together interlace your fingers outside of your feet lengthen your spine you can move to the right to the left or you can flap whatever feels good today up to you movement that feels good go ahead with that now inhale lengthen your spine exhale halfway down make sure you are keeping your chin away from the chest inhale exhale deepen even more so you'll be feeling good amount of stretch in your inner thighs just make sure you are not rounding your spine rather you are going down with the full length in your spine three 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Inhale up. Now, for the next pose, lie down on your spine, legs bent, feet hip width apart, arms by the side of body or simply grab your heels. Inhale, lift your buttocks off, Setu Bandhasana, lower back, mid back. You can grab your heels or you can support your back using your hands. Whichever variation suits you, breathe there. Now slowly release your hands and your spine down vertebra by vertebra. Now soles of the feet together. Supta Baddha Konasana. Release your hands by the side of your body, palms facing up. Allow gravity to work here. With every exhalation, your knees are going down closer to the floor. Make sure there is no resistance from your end. Also, you can place one palm on your abdomen, the other on your chest. With every inhalation, feel the expansion of your abdomen and your chest. With every exhalation, abdomen sinks down into the mat and chest contracts. Now, we'll go for a spinal twist, bringing your knees together, right leg over the left. If you're really comfortable, go for eagle wrap, otherwise simply right leg over the left, whichever variation suits you. Dropping both the knees to the left and your face to the right. You can use your left hand to press your right knee down. Center, release, change, left leg over the right, dropping both the knees to the right and face to the left. Center, center, hug both the knees to the chest, it relaxes your lower back, releases all the tension from your lower back. Do not hug it too tightly, just in a relaxed way, in such a way that your tailbone is resting down.
Now the next posture is Supta Padangushtasana. Use the strap or a dupatta. Straighten your left leg down. Left toes flex towards you. Stretch your right leg up, placing it on the ball of your right foot. Stretch it up. Elbows bent. Close to your ribcage. Your elbows are hugging your ribcage. Stay there for 10 deep breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. change straighten your left leg up right toes also flex towards you elbows bent hugging your ribcage one two three Four, five, six, feeling the stretch in the back of your left leg, seven, eight, nine, Shavasana, you can go for Shavasana with both the legs bent or you can keep bolster under your knees. You can keep bolster under your knees for Shavasana or maybe two pillows. Just make sure your heels touching the floor. With this, your lower back completely rests. Release your hands, palms facing up. Just relax. Taking awareness to your right hand, right arm right shoulder, right side of chest, right side of abdomen, right hip bone, right thigh, right knee, right shin, right foot, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, right sole, right heel, right calf muscles, back side of right knee, back side of right thigh, right buttock. Just relax your entire right side. You're not holding on to any tension on your right side. Let it relax completely on the floor. Shifting awareness to the left side, left hand, left arm, left shoulder, left side of chest, left abdomen, left hip bone, left thigh, left knee, left shin, left ankle, left foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe left sole, left heel, left calf muscles, back side of left knee, back side of left thigh, left buttock. 
release all the tension from your lower back mid back upper back neck scalp forehead relax your eyebrow center facial muscles completely relaxed relax your tongue on the upper palate Your body is completely relaxed. There is no tension in your body and in your mind. It's completely relaxed. Time to connect back to the surroundings. Gently bring your awareness back to the body. Gentle movement in your fingers and your toes. Slowly move your head left, right. Bringing your feet together. You can push away the prop, push away the bolster. Interlace your fingers, extend your arms up. Stretch it out completely. Bending your left knee, roll on to the right side. The moment you feel comfortable, Sit up in Sukhasan, keeping your eyes closed. Take a moment to acknowledge the experience of last practice. Observe the change in your mind which has come after the practice. back grab your opposite elbows inhale bend back exhale bend forward send your gratitudes to the universal energy and be thankful to the mother earth slowly come up release your hands rub your palms nicely generate the heat transfer this heat to that body part which you want to heal so you can place it on your lower back or on your abdomen Once again, rub your palms, cup your eyes, looking straight into your palms, gently open your eyes, palms to the chest center, Namaste. Thank you so much for your practice. Ashki practice was very soft and soothing. Thi. I'm sure you are very relaxed. Kar rahe hoge. Along with this, I will share the five most effective tips that I have to do in my case. I have instant relief. Dete aai hai. Tip number one. You can use heating pad on your belly and lower back to relieve pain. Within 20-30 minutes, you will start to feel Tip number two, you can take warm shower. Not only it relaxes you, but also it soothes your pain. Tip number three, take one teaspoon of carom seeds, which we call in Hindi, boil it in one glass of water, strain it and then drink sip by sip. ये तो मैं हर बार करती हूँ। It works really well for me. Tip number four, you can get your lower back and abdomen near belly button massaged. 15-20 minutes में relief मिलना start हो जाता है। Tip number five, the last one, it is an acupressure tip. Use your thumb and forefinger to apply pressure to the space between your thumb and index finger on the opposite hands. ये एक wonder tip है मेरे केस में हर बार काम करता है not only it calms me down soothes my pain but also most of the time I fall asleep after this one 
तो आज के वीडियो में मैंने आपके साथ शेयर किया है वो योगा सीक्वेंस जो मेरे लिए हेल्पफुल रही है ड्यूरिंग मेंस्ट्रुअल क्रैम्स एंड वो फाइव टिप्स जो मेरे लिए बहुत ही इफेक्टिव रही हैं आपके पास अगर कोई ऐसे टिप्स हैं या फिर कोई प्रैक्टिस जो आप करते आ रहे हो प्लीज मेरे साथ कॉमेंट सेक्शन में जरूर शेयर करना और आज के प्रैक्टिस के बाद आपको कैसा लगा उसका एक्सपीरियंस भी प्लीज शेयर करना थैंक यू वेरी मच आई सी यू नेक्स्ट वेडनेसडे